Hi, this is Trish Jones and I just wanted to give you a quick update on the visual text editor in WordPress 2.5 or 2.5.1. And in my previous blog post where I talked about the pesky bullets that just wouldn't line up, I kind of made a complaint about this text editor because whilst for people using the standard version of WordPress would probably have thought that this was Christmas come early, actually having this text editor, for those of us using the WordPress semiologic theme, basically I know that most of us were saying boo because it really felt like a relegation. You know, we were in the we were using the first division WYSIWYG editor and suddenly we'd been relegated to the third to the third division. And basically I wasn't happy. This thing was filled with bugs. I was worried about my uh, newbie users because you know there were just too many things that you just had to remember to tell them not to do this to do this because you know otherwise you could lose your blog posts but anyway some searching around and somebody on the semiologic forum directed me to a new uh, plugin that you use in conjunction with the text editor and basically um, so far, I would say all is forgiven. <laughs> okay, but one of the reasons I actually did a video on this wasn't just to tell you about this new plugin. But for those of you using uh, 2.5 or 2.5.1, you've probably gone into the writing area of your blog post. And what you can mainly see is this top layer of text here. And then you come across to this. When you put your mouse over it, it basically tells you that this is a kitchen sink. If you click that kitchen sink, it will expose more of the icons. And I have two layers showing there, and that's because I've got this new plugin activated. But if you don't, you will just have the first layer. So I had one client who didn't realize that they had extra functionality on this thing because they were too afraid to click the kitchen sink. And then I had another client the other he evening who um, decided to add an inline widget but could not find anywhere on the text editor where to add the widget and apparently he was there for two hours and to leave in the end he had the laptop apparently above his head and you know I can just um, imagine Moses with the tablet of stone so I actually call him Moses now so the next day he came to me and he said Trish I am having a nightmare with this what do I do and I said by the way did you click that kitchen sink and well anyway I won't use the language he used because I don't use that kind of language but needless to say he was not happy and felt that he spent two hours the previous evening just because he hadn't clicked that kitchen sink. So this is the reason I'm actually doing the video to show you that. So let's go over to the plugin now and it's called the Tiny MC Advanced. And I will just warn you <clears throat> that this version is only for 2.5.1 or higher. So if you're still using 2.5, do not use this, this plugin. I will not be held responsible for you breaking break break your blog. So please only use this, this if you're using version 2.5.1. And basically, this allows you to, well, I'll go back over to it. You can come over here. I'll give you the URL so you can go and download this um, plugin. But as you can see here, I now have a table functionality. So if I do some type. And I want to add a table, please. What's going on? Anyway, <laughs> I know it works. I don't know what's going on there, but I also have the font family. I can change the font size somewhere. Um, oh, maybe because I don't have a header. Oh, this thing is so cantankerous, honestly. I have no idea what's going on there. But anyway, I know that I can actually add tables um, into this thing now. And you can add smileys. Um, I can change the font size, which is what I wanted. You can change the font um, uh, style, or rather it says styles there. That That's basically whether you want to left or right, or in fact, actually, it would mean that you wouldn't need these icons there. But basically, you can change the font face as well, actually directly within the editor. So that's one of the reasons I absolutely love it. Um, as I said, I'm, I have no idea why my tables are not showing up there, but I know I've used them, so I know they work. So um, if this is something that would actually help you, then go over to the WordPress plugin, download it and enjoy using it. Okay, until next time.